Hi, I'm Griselda Duran, and this video is part one in a series of video user guides on the subject of food expense reimbursements charged to federal grants and contracts. All four parts of the series are available on the Office of Research YouTube page. In this video, I'm going to share some best practices for determining if food expenses may be charged to federal grants and contracts. The first thing to remember is that having food at a meeting where university business is being conducted is a legitimate expense, as long as you're in compliance with UC policy. The key question is, to what funding source can the food expense be charged? There are differences between when food expenses are allowable on NIH grants, which will be covered in part two of this series, and when they are allowable on NSF grants which will be covered in part three of this series. These two federal agencies have different policies regarding whether and under what circumstances food expenses are allowable cost. Whenever UCI receives federal funds, we must also comply with the federal costing principles contained in the uniform guidance to determine if a cost is allowable. This means that for a food expense to be allowable as a direct cost charged to a federal award, it must be reasonable, it must be necessary for carrying out the work, and it must be allocable or assignable to the federal award, given the sponsors and UCI's policies. In other words, what is allowable under some circumstances may not be allowable under other circumstances. You need to evaluate each situation. For example, if a PI buys donuts on the way to work for a lab staff meeting and asks his department administrator to charge the expense to a federal grant, the department administrator should explain to the PI that the expense is not allowable on the federal grant, but may be charged to the departmental or discretionary funds because donuts for a lab staff meeting are a reasonable food-related business expense. Please keep in mind, there is a restriction on how frequently an employer can provide meals or light refreshments to employees. University policy says that meals should be limited to no more than once a month or 12 times per year per group, and light refreshments should be limited to no more than twice per month per group. Regardless of the situation, there is one food-related expense that is always unallowable. Federal funds may not ever be spent on alcoholic beverages. Another important thing to remember is that federal sponsors always want grantees to follow the most restrictive policy. Regardless of whether it is the policy of the federal sponsor or the grantee's institution. Understanding how certain keywords are used in the uniform guidance and in sponsor policies is important, so let's take a look at the keywords that will be used throughout this video series. Keywords for which the definition is very important are conferences and meetings. A conference is a meeting, retreat, seminar, symposium, workshop, or event whose primary purpose is the dissemination of technical information. The type of meetings referred to throughout this video series are meetings with a programmatic purpose. This does not include recurring business meetings, such as staff meetings. In addition, food or meals must be authorized either in the approved budget for the federal award or receive prior written approval by an authorized official for the federal awarding agency. Before I conclude part one of this video series, I'd like to leave you with some final tips. Don't pay for meal expenses of others when traveling on university business, as this is not allowed by the UC travel policy. If you hold a business meeting while traveling, remember that the business meeting expenses must be documented and submitted for approval on a travel and entertainment management e-document or TEM in KFS. For more information, visit UCI's Accounting and Fiscal Services website on entertainment and meetings. You will find this link, along with others, at the bottom of the YouTube page. Just click on Show More.